Like the tree map chart, the sunburst chart is also a hierarchical chart. Instead of using the rectangle sizes to represent a value, it uses the size of pi pieces. Our data consists of regions broken down into states and then further broken down into products. We then have three columns of values. The first column is the number of dozens of a product we sold. The next column is the price we charged per dozen, followed by a column containing our gross profit. We can display many columns of text data in a sunburst chart, but only one column of values. Therefore, to display our three columns of values, we will need to create three sunburst charts. An advantage of the sunburst chart over the tree map chart is that it can represent more columns of text data. If we wanted to break things down further, we could add a county column. I will convert the data to a table so that we can later filter the data. I will select the data that I will be using in the sunburst chart. I will select the category columns and the first value column. The headings aren't needed, so I will start with row 2. I will click on the Quick Analysis button. I will select Charts. I will click on the More button. I will click on the All Charts tab. I will select Sunburst. I will resize the chart. The chart bursts from the inside out. The largest grouping is in the center of the chart. The details are farthest from the center. The sunburst chart clearly shows that we sell the most products in the north region. You can change the appearance of the chart by selecting one of the chart styles. I will change the color palette. I would like to see the values next to the labels in the chart. To do that, I will right-click on the chart, then select Format Data Series. From the Series options, I will select Data Labels. I will click on the Label Options button, then select Value. The value for each product now appears on the chart. Let's change the chart so that the chart will display the price per dozen that we have charged our customers. I will right-click on the chart and choose Select Data. I will click on the Edit button. For the series name, I will click on the heading Price Per Dozen. Excel enters the cell address of the heading for me. I will delete the current series values. I will select the values that are in the Price Per Dozen column. We can easily see by looking at the chart that the price of cookies is much higher in New York. Now, let's change the chart so that we can see the product gross profits for each of our regions. I will right-click on the chart then choose Select Data. I will click on the Edit button. I will delete what is currently in the Series Name box. I will click on the heading Gross. I will delete the current series values. I will select the values that are in the Gross column.
you can see in the chart that the most profitable item was the cookies sold in New York. Now, let's change what appears in the chart by applying filters to our data. I will click on the down arrow for the region filter. I will remove the check mark from the east region. The east region has been removed from the chart. I will click on the filter for state and remove the check mark from Florida. I will click on the filter for gross. I will click on number filters and then select greater than or equal to. I will enter 5000. Because all of the products in the east were less than 5000, the east region no longer appears in the chart. I will clear each of the three filters. Clicking once on the chart selects the entire area. Clicking on the chart a second time selects the chart region that you clicked on. The other region's colors will be dimmed. If you now click on a state within the selected region, it will be selected and the other state's colors will be dimmed. If you click on a product in that state, it will be selected and the other product colors will be dimmed. I will click back on Michigan to select everything in that state. Now that we have the state of Michigan, and its products selected, let's change their background. I will right-click on the selected area. I will click on the down arrow for Fill, then select Texture. I will select the green marble color. I will click outside of the chart to deselect it. Let's give the chart a 3D look. I will click on the down arrow for Plot Area Options, then select Series Gross. You can create a 3D effect by manipulating the handles for the shadow. I will change the angle to around 254. I will change the distance to 7. I will change the blur to 28. You can experiment with these to get the look you want. I will delete the chart titles.